to Britt Latrice and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be here today. So what I have for you guys today is a luxury unboxing of an item that I found from my wish list. Guys, it's so crazy. I never thought it would actually work out like this, but I've been finding a lot of my wish list items like on eBay for the low low, authentic, like all the stuff. So I'm like, I, I gotta, I gotta, like, how could I not? It's on, it's on the wish list. Now, if it's not on the wish list, we got to reconsider. But if it's on the wish list, can we really say no? <laughs> okay. All right. Let me go get it and um, show you guys what I got. If y'all know one thing about me, y'all know I'm not going to be up on here cutting boxes. That's how you get hurt. So um, <laughs> I already like opened the box and here she is. I bet you guys are going to be able to guess what it is too. Maybe. Maybe. It's the Celine Rumi bag, guys. And yes, I confirmed that it's called the Rumi. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I cannot even with this, y'all. Like, how gorgeous is it? She got that sweet juice, minute made, some of our that lemonade. Take a sip, blowing purple clouds, tastes like lemon haze. Conversations back and forth like damn with Kugel. And then you see like, it has like Celine written right here there's Celine written right here and then you have it also on the zipper which is like incredible oh my god guys it also came with its desk bag guys which is somewhere in here um I know I don't typically show these but I think it's like really important to get your accessories, especially when you're buying pre-loved. Okay, yeah. I cannot get over how gorgeous this bag is. It's like the tan color. It's like a burnt caramel, if you ask me. But it's very cognac, but a little bit more like burnt in a good way. And guys, I, ju I just, <sighs> it's the slouch for me. It's the slouch for me, okay? <laughs> I, I love a hobo bag. I always have and guys, so happy. Guys, I I am so happy I cannot contain myself. But let's talk about this. So I love a hobo bag and this was on my list because I felt like in terms of shoulder bags, Celine had the game on lock, okay? In my opinion. So I think it came out in 2021, like in late 2021. And it took me a while to like decide. So I went to Paris and I did try it on at the boutique. And at the boutique, I don't know what happened. I was not feeling it. I didn't think the shoulder drop was long enough. And it's still like, you're gonna have to kind of smush it in, I think, to wear, or you kind of have to push it back. But I just thought like, it didn't seem, the shoulder drop not being as long threw me for a loop. And prior to that, I hadn't really been wearing my Dior um, saddlebag. Like, so I really wasn't used to a bag being so close within to my shoulder. Um, however, good news, I started to wear my Dior saddlebag more. Yay. But also, it got me really comfortable with the idea of a handbag like this. Hey, Libby. So, guys, when I saw it on eBay... Um, for a really great price. I was just like, you know what? Let me see what that's about. Let me do some exploration. And I am so glad I did. Like I was able to negotiate the price and it was just such a good experience. And so, yeah, it came and honestly, y'all, it is so, so, so beautiful. Um, I will also try it on for you guys what it looks like on. I find it a lot easier if you wear it back, but you can wear it under your shoulder. You're just gonna like smash it down a little bit, which to me is not ideal, but it's still a very comfortable bag. And it still does kind of go with like its slouch look and effect. I also love how it hangs off the nook of my arm. It's so cute in that regard. Oh, I just, I can't get over it. I. I, I I can't like it's too good it doesn't have that much branding which I really like um the details though for me are what really 
like make it just so special. It is just such a gorgeous bag with such gorgeous details and I think it's just such a thoughtful piece and they really knew what they were doing when they created this. And you know what I like too is it's like it's not overdone. Like I do want of course the brands that I like to do well but it's nice that you can go out and not see everybody and their mom with something like this so that's cool I'm gonna show you the color comparison to my Dior saddlebag because um, I think it'll just be helpful to see but I just like it's like a very relaxed casual cool swaggy like shoulder bag and it does fit quite a bit like if you do stuff it a lot it will start to sit like this um, but if you kind of just leave it a little bit not so stuffed it will maintain its gorgeous slouch um, okay let me go grab that Dior bag so I grabbed the Dior and here they are for color comparison purposes so you see this one's the Celine one and this one's the Dior one so they're both like camel like um cognac colored bags um but this one has like more of a red tone underneath and this one definitely has more of like a yellow tone this is a little cooler um even though i don't feel like this is a cool in terms of like color tones bag at all it's warmer technically but it's cooler than this <laughs> i know me trying to describe the like color wheel and everything right now so now let me put this back so here's the interior just so you can see that piece as well it is suede um about the same color as the handbag and guys yeah she's pretty fire i'm not gonna find i think she's pretty fire and i'm very excited about this one like this just it's casual cool it's uh she's giving she's that girl y'all that doesn't try hard but everyone knows she's a vibe you know <laughs> like that is what this bag is and i'm just super excited to have it i love its shape i love that it you know it takes from a very classic shape and style but it just they gave it a twist of its own and this feels very phoebe philo celine i know it's not but it definitely does feel like old celine um and you know if you like a lot of frills it can be underwhelming i bet it is but for that relaxed person like me, oh, 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 she's everything and more. She's a vision. Guys, let me not stunt. She's a vision and something that I'm very excited to have for a very long time to come. So, yeah. And oh, yeah. Let me know if you want me to do a what's in my bag with her. I would just want to film it a slightly different way, which is why I didn't put stuff in it today. But let me know and we can make that happen, okay? Because she's... She's so good. She's so good. All right, guys. That's everything I have for you guys today. Oh, oh, oh. you ain't see in the bag. She wants to visit the bag, okay? All right, y'all, that's everything I have for you guys today. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications each time I upload. I'll chat with you later. Bye.